Hey, what's up? Still late? Oh, yeah, I'm very late. I'm sorry. But, you know, hold on. My mic's gonna fuck up. Uh, I had, I had to use the bathroom. I had to, uh, you know, drop a fucking... Okay, whatever, I'm doing, who cares? I really need to tell you what I was doing. Let me just, let me just tell you, it was gross. <laughs> Dude, what the fuck, TMI, what, stop! Oversharing? Um, for all you know, I don't know, I could have been brushing my teeth. And I, like, oh, my breath was bad. What, where's your, why is your mind? So, where are you going? Stop. But anyways, how you doing? Welcome to another stream. Playing Hylix tonight. You probably saw by the incredible title, which I have not updated. Uh, one of the mods will fix it. Probably like an hour. It is the way, it is the way that it's going to be for now. Yeah, I've heard this game is very weird. Been told it's going to be right up my alley. It's not that long, but we'll see. I've heard that before. There's also a sequel, so if I like this, then I'll probably play the sequel at some point. We have Grotto B stuff to go over a little bit later as well. Kind of a secondary clarification uh, and amendment to the FAQ we saw a couple days ago. A lot of really good news with Grotto Beasts. I'm also going to show the box today. I'll make sure to show you what you're getting. There are some things missing from this box because they were... Well, I, I, never mind. I don't, the Grotto Beast group chat is going to be mad at me if I say anything else. Yeah, some things are missing from this box. I just want to give you a basic idea of what you what you can expect. That's the plan for today. No, this is by the. This is not an unboxing. This is not an unboxing. This is essentially. These are printing samples, because everything is still in production right now. So these are printing samples. I just want to show you what you're planning on getting. No, there's. No, I'm not going to be. There's no pack openings. That's not. I'm, I'm just. It's, this is. These are printing samples for you to see what is being printed. Unbox, please. It doesn't exist, I'm telling you. All right, but anyways, very excited. It's been going incredibly well. Uh, everybody on the Grotto Beast team is, is, is completely blown away. It's been more than we ever thought. So we will go over it all, but I want to obviously not do it immediately. I'm going to do the same thing like we did a few days ago. I'm going to play Hylix for a little bit, and then we'll move into that. So let's go. You guys ready? I heard this game is a little weird, but let's, uh, let's just chill out and play it gonna be kind of a chill stream today i really well besides maybe the grotto beast stuff but uh i kind of want to just relax so that's what we're gonna do all right let's get started a psychic gland miraculously purifies the chemicals the people hark out of a field it is a chemical below a product it is a memory beside truth meanwhile gibby king of the moon works a engine beside the shrunken vessel memory. Thus your story begins. Act one. Okay. Interesting. Meow. <laughs> Is that a cat? Toilet paper was found. Oh, okay. Cool. I got toilet paper. Warm burrito was found. Well, that's... Just, wait, what? You sure that's what that is? I don't, I don't, yeah, I don't know about that one. I don't know about that one. That's fucking gross. <laughs> Come here. Chip, chip, chip. Nice title, dude. I didn't make the title. My title was really boring and plain. I had a perfectly plain title. It was plain. Let me ask you guys something. When you get a bagel, do you get a plain bagel? Or does it have to be something wacky? I, when was the last time you had a plain bagel? Just a plain, just regular bagel. I feel like to me it's gotta be, there's gotta be something on it. Everything bagel, seeds, you know, like, you know, like you know, cheese on it and stuff. Like, you know, they bake them with stuff in it. I'd I like a plain bagel, but I don't think I've had one in a long time. It's usually like an everything bagel. Onion bagel, yep. Onion bagel, everything bagel is what I buy. I don't buy plain bagels kind of interesting. Put over here. Oh, trash! Found meat. Yeah, that trash, man. 
those of you that have been around for a long time, do you remember that was a sub sound for a while? That was one of my favorites. Yeah, I'm not trash, man. The bird sound. You know, the bird sound, I actually am sad that I did because a sub sound is like, okay, everybody pause for a second. The, we're gonna, the, the funny line is going to be said. The bird sound ruined old streams because it was just noise that just would happen randomly. Instead of it being like, I'm in the middle of saying something or talking, it's, oh, hey, guys, and by the way, here's what we're, whoop, ah, the trash man. Everybody stops, and we just listen to it for a second. But eventually it got to a point where it was so in the background that you would just randomly talking over me would be like, I've gone back and watched old VODs and gone, oh, what? turn that off. You watch yourself? No, but sometimes I'll go back and just check on old VODs and stuff. You know, you never know. I just want to know. Because well, something interesting, too, is I've been doing this for like 12, 13 years now. And it's kind of interesting sometimes just to go back and be like, what was I like like five years ago, two years ago, eight years ago? Interesting sometimes. So looking at old photos. I mean, I don't do this that often. This is maybe like once every, maybe like once every year or two. I'll go back and look at some stuff. I mean, we've done this on stream before. What do you mean? Bro, are you high? No. Are you drunk? No. Like I told you, for the last like couple of years, the last like year and a half, two years, I have not at all. It's just, it's just, I have such attention problems in the first place that it became really clear that I was just fucking myself up so bad. Even when not, even just like taking a little sometimes. So it's just like, no, no, not anymore. Not anymore. Like it does the yoinky spoinky. I think that's a that's not quite that. Plus, the yoinky splunky is something I, I... You guys gave that term to a little thing I did on the dollhouse stream. I mean, that wasn't a dance. That was just you guys called it that. So, I mean, is that really a dance? Ooh, there's more money. 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 You found 50. Money. 175? Meat, meat. A lot of meat. For the uh the meat grinder he said it oh my god he said it finally finally look click click that get that part drag forward to a timeline clip the end of that 12 seconds got it upload i want to watch this but the visuals are giving me a headache should there be something in the title it just says like the you know hey like visuals are like kind of trippy or something i guess it's not too too bad right not enough for like a warning. Maybe like an eye strain warning. It doesn't seem dangerous. No, I don't think so. Eye strain. Warning. Eye strain incoming. <laughs> I, I, this actually is fine for me. I'm very sensitive to stuff like this, and I've I'm, I've been okay. My tortoise is watching this stream. She hates you, but I think she likes the game. Somebody said that song was scratching their frontal lobe. All right, now I'm pretty decked out now. I'm going to do that other stuff. I'm going to where I got in trouble last time. And we're probably... I think I'm going to show some Grotto Beast stuff. Talk about it for a little bit. I think I was going to wait like an hour. <clears throat> we got to go over some questions and some answers. I want to show the box. I have it here. Now give me one second. I'm going to... This can just stay right here. Yeah, we'll come right back to this. All right. Since Grotto Beasts has gone into pre-sale, I really want to go over some of the more, some amendments to that FAQ. And this, this whole thing is going to get pieced together and any of this FAQ stuff that you guys have seen so far will be on the website. We just want to clean it up and make sure it's correct. But there's a lot of stuff to go over because we have, uh, we have hit a very, very interesting milestone and uh, we'll talk about it. So let's start. We're going to start at the top. Here comes another presentation. Presentation incoming. It is only one slide this time, so don't worry. It's not like 10 slides. There were just some other things we wanted to make sure people were aware of, and I'm just going to read this stuff pretty much line by line. Okay. Let's go over this, because these are this is going to answer some questions and go over some important um, store updates, dates, and limited items. So there's a lot of text on this screen, so just be aware. I want to get it on one slide. Here we go. Here are some clarifications and amendments to what we talked about two, three days ago. So, 
Grotto Beasts is in pre-sale right now. It's available right now on grottobeasts.net. This is very, yeah, there's a lot of text. But I'm going to read it. So we've had a lot of questions since this. And don't skip ahead. Don't skip. I know you're going to read ahead. Don't skip ahead. Wait for me to read. Oh, shit. Cartoon mischief. <laughs> All right. So we've had a lot of questions about the holographics. Wait, you've got four different holographic types. Does that mean that each card could have a holographic in four different versions? No. There are four types of holographic film. And each card has a specific holographic film type assigned to it. So, for example, you will you should never find a fretzel that has anything but a hollow dot pattern. So, I think a lot of people were saying, whoa, that seems like a lot of potential holographics for if it's each one has the... No, no, no. They're all assigned. So, that we've had that question come in a lot. So we've also, we've numbered our production so that every booster pack will have one rare card and exactly one holographic card in every booster pack. So what that means, the hollow is one random card, which can be either rare or common. So some packs will potentially have two rares. We've got that question a lot too. Now for some store updates. Let's go over some updates on the store. Uh, do not read the second line yet. I know you already have, but... It's fucking crazy. We are going to let everyone know when we have an exact date in mind for the pre-sale to end. The store may halt for a while in that period, and depending on inventory, we'll need to see what items will be available for when we leave pre-sale up. This will be at least 10 to 14 days from now. So we don't have a hard date for the end of the pre-sale, but it will be at least another two weeks. So if you are buying it right now, that we, we're, we're trying to keep the pre-sale up as long as we can. And the reason why we're doing that is because of the second line here. So, the initial production of the boosters have all been claimed. So, the boosters of, of our first production run here have been claimed. So, we're already in contact with the printer to scale up the production and order more. We want. I want to touch again on this pre-sale strategy. It's important. We didn't want our inventory currently in production to sell out, ship out, and have a secondary market takeover for people that didn't get in on the pre-sale and wanted to claim items. This pre-sale is going to continue normally, but those of you buying booster packs now, which is over our current inventory, you're going to need to wait a little longer for the till the next order. Uh, we'll get some better dates for you in the near future, but I, we want to make sure we can make this really clear, that there's going to be a waiting period for boosters purchased as of this period now, after the first shipments go up. This is very corporate. It has to be, because I want to make sure I get this correct. So, that being said, the availability... The, 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 this is not corporate anymore. <laughs> the availability of the two-player starter kits, as of, I just heard Holly laugh, as of this stream right now, are not affected by the new production order. So people are still claiming through the stock. And each kit has two boosters in it. So right now, we, we have not gone through all of the starter kits. So those, you're, you're still fine if you, if you during the pre-sale. Buying them now, if you do. Uh, those, as well as the first run of boosters, are planning to ship out after the pre-sale ends. So the starter kits are still available. Uh, and it's not that boosters are not available. It's just the, the second order of boosters is going to... You, you'll get it later. It's going to be a... a we don't, I don't want to give you a date because we don't really know. But it shouldn't be that long, but it will be a little longer. So we want to make sure people know this. Also, important, some of the... We didn't... Make, well, I want to make sure we mention this. Some of the apparel and prints are only available for a limited time until March 31st. So the, the 40, the original 40 Beast shirts, the art prints, the Grotto Beast logo hat and beanies, and the glow-in-the-dark version of that ghost hoodie and tee are all leaving the store on the 31st. That's the plan. Now I want to talk to you about this. So the age rating on the box, I, I want to make this really clear. So it's listed as 6 plus as more of a guideline for the physical product. There are dice in here. We wanted people to make sure that there are small pieces in here. Because uh, if you bought this and, that, and there was no like, you know, minimum sort of age rating on it, there are, there are small physical pieces in here. And we just want to make sure people know that. Also, very important, this is a mature audience channel. 
And although there are no pieces of explicit language or imagery, there are still references to tobacco, cartoon violence, cartoon mischief. It's it's stream references. So if you're like, think about that, right? There are references to characters here that might not be appropriate for little kids. But we try to make this project be as general audience as possible. But also keep in mind, this is channel merch for this community, first and foremost. This is merch for you guys. Merch for the community. That's all this project ever was intended to be. So just be aware that there are references to mature audience streams, even though we tried to make this as general audience as we could. You understand? Do you, do you feel me? Outrage! Tobacco! <laughs> But, you know, we want to make this clear for people. There are definitely going to be people that stumble upon this project and just potentially have no idea who the fuck I am. We just want people to know this. So, with all this being said, are we clear on this stuff? Is everybody clear? Can you please put this into simpler terms? Um, no, I can't. That'll get me in trouble. <laughs> no, I cannot, because I want to make sure we're very clear on what's happening. I'll look over at the Grotto Beast group chat and I'll, it'll, it'll be in all capitals. Stop, 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 stop. Can you explain this in Family Guy terms? No, I don't think I, I don't think I can. So, I, it's time. I want to show you some things. He makes us sound so angry. No, I'm kidding. It's been, a, it's a, they're a wonderful group over there. I promise. I'm just kidding around. They are, I have some things here that I would like to show. You guys ready? Are you ready for me to reveal it? I'm going to show you multiple things because it's kind of interesting how this plays out. Uh oh, they can see me. Hold on. Hold on. Hi. How are you? Where are you? Where the heck are you? No, you're up there. Good to see you again. Uh, we're going to go over the box. You got a full beard. It's hey, it's been kind of a wild couple of weeks. I'm not I haven't shaved or anything. I've had a haircut. We're just I'm sorry. That's just the way it is. All right, so let's... All right, you ready? Jerma, you're ugly. I want to show you... Now, nah, don't look yet. I want to show you the first iteration of the box. I'm going to get to see behind the curtain here. So this is what the box looked like originally. Let me make sure I got that right. Yeah. So here it is. So this is the original Grotto Beast box. Looks pretty cool, right? This is the first iteration. And I want to show you. Like, it's... It's alright. It's kind of... It's kind of sturdy, but... Not that sturdy. And as you can see... It's not... We didn't... We weren't really happy with this. We wanted there to be something interesting in here. This is where the dice were gonna go. In here. In this little thing. But it turned out to be kind of... Annoying. Uh, it turned out it, kind of, it could get like kind of squished, so we decided, nah, maybe we'll, let's do another version, right? Another, another iteration. It just, it, it just doesn't, it just, it, it really just didn't do it for us. And obviously, if I'm gonna charge seventy nine fucking dollars for something like that, it, I want to make it at least fucking some, you know, make it make it quality if I can, right? Because I didn't, we didn't want to sell this for eighty bucks. No fucking way, that was not gonna happen. So, but we thought, okay, what, 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 what can we do? Then. We came to this one. Now this one, the you can even hear it. The material is a lot sturdier. This is this is the box. This is the real box. So in here, I want to maybe I can show you the difference between like this. Here they are on top of each other. Like you might not be able to see the difference, but you can definitely feel it. This is a little I want to say flimsier. This one is is, is hard. It's sturdier. So then, yeah, take a look. There it is. Now you're probably saying, "Dude, this stuff. Where, where's all? Where's all the stuff?" This is this is a print. This is a sample. So if we take a look down there, ooh, cool. This is what sits in the middle, which is now holding the dice. And I kind of fucked it up a little bit, so this is my own fault. But this is what it sits in now. You get this little like boat, and see there, you see like the the glowing. It's like sits on top of this this. So it sits in the box like this. I fucked mine up because I was fucking with it too much. But you get a dice boat that sits like this 
And then there's two starter decks right here. It's pretty nice. And it's a lot nicer than this. And like I said, we weren't going to sell this for $80. That would be fucking up. I would, I, we, no way. Not going to happen. So here are the dice. I don't know if I can even show these that well. But here they are. These dice, they have, can you see? There's the, the print. It's just, the light's not great in here. But there's the, the J, the, the Germa J. These are fun. For all your dice needs. Yeah, you can't see it. It's, it's, it, it doesn't come out that well on camera here. But they're themed dice. Pretty cool. So those sit in here. Like that. And these, these come in a little bag. So. They, they, they will come in a little bag so they don't jump around too much. And then... Aha! Here's the manual. The manual is right here. I don't want to show... Should I open this? It's really nice. It's nice. It's kind of like... Acts as like a little art book too in a way. It's not an art book. But... You know, they, they, there's a lot, it's a, it's a, there's a lot of nice stuff in here. And take a look, there you go. But that, this is not an art book. Let me make that really clear. Not an art book. It's the manual, the rules for the game. But there is like some nice stuff here. Then, here, there are two play mats. Here is one of the play mats. And this is just standard uh, paper. This is not the, uh, like, felt. Or something, but here's the play mat. Is one of them. They're pretty big. And then here's the other one. Here you go. Here's the here's the other one. Pretty cool. Pretty cool stuff. And then that's also in that box. And then we get to these. These are my favorite. This is my favorite part. These. So, I, I can't open these. There's nothing in here. I just want to get you to see what it looks like in somebody's hand. They feel nice. The foils are, are cool. Take a look at the back. Can you get a good view? Take a look at that. There it is. There, these are your packs. Two of these come in the box. They come in the box. Oh, also, very important to, to mention. All the car. This is all printed and made in America. The only difference is the dice were not. The dice were made in China. So everything that this whole thing was made and printed in the United States. So that's that's cool. There you go. Card reveal. Here's one. Pretty shiny. Feels pretty good. Give you kind of kind of a look. At what they look like in somebody's hand. But if I get it really close, I wonder if I can get it close for you. And again, these are standard, these are standard playing card sizes. Hey. You haven't even fucking seen this one yet. You haven't even seen this one yet. Card reveal! The lighting in the room is not great, but, so this is a rare. I don't have any holographics to show because they're being made. So I, I can't really show them. But this is what one looks like. If you want to, you want to see the back, what it looks like on the back. You want to, if you want to hear, you want a sound test? Sound test? Flip test? Throw test? You want to move it around? Pretty sturdy. Pretty solid. Taste test? <laughs> no. Oh, wait, let me show this. This is glue, man. I wish the camera wasn't so bad. Because this, it, it, they, the, it actually, the printing came out really nicely. For, yeah, it's full art, yeah. The rares, uh, I've learned the rares. The challenger cards, I believe, are full, right? Make sure, let me see, make sure somebody corrects me. Can you see it well? There you go. Throw it at the wall. No, this is my glue man. I'm not doing that. Are you crazy? 
But yeah, I just, we wanted to show people what, because I, look, I get it. It's 80 fucking dollars. It's 10 bucks per pack. I, I want you to be able to understand what you're getting. So, let's fan it out. Sorry, I'm looking over here. I have to look at the preview to make sure I'm showing it right. There you go. That's what you can expect. Printed and made in America. Except for the dice. It's been, it's been quite a journey. But there you go. What happens if you rip the mats? I would just be careful with them. Be careful with them. Oh, also, yeah, very, very important to remember as well. That there are two full decks that are coming with this box. I just, I don't have them here right now. They're not, we, they, I did, we had printing stuff and they're, they're making them, they're, they're producing them. But we, these are just samples of the boxes and some of the cards. So there are two full decks that will be sitting in these little wells. And then everything will sit on top. I'll, actually, I'll show you what it might look like when you open it. Are there, there are duplicates. Yes, there are. The game, uh, so besides this being channel merch, because that's what this is, we wanted a good functioning game on top of it, because why not? Like, if, I've got, originally this was going to be baseball cards, in quotes. So this was originally just going to be no game. We got in touch with the game designer and it was like, why not? Let's go. Why not just have something fun on top of it too? So there are... You can have duplicates in a deck, and it's the game. The game-wise, it makes sense because I think you can have up to three cards, right? Up to three, the same card. So in the starter deck, there are duplicates because they are pre-built decks for you to just be able to play it or just collect it. So the decks in there are pre-built. I gotta fold this. I'm so paranoid I'm gonna rip it because I don't want to. I'm, I'm, this is my special sample copy. I don't want to mess it up. They're pretty sturdy though. It feels like it. Uh, that moon, by the way, that moon card comes in the starter kit. So that's good to know. If you want that card, it's in the starter kit. My card, the Germa card, is also in the starter kit as well. Would you like to see how far we've come? This is from the stream. Do you remember this? Yeah. The, these are these are from the these are from the stream. Do you remember the stream? These are not, I would say, these are not that, you know, they're a little, the cut is a little, we did, the, I, I, this happened by, yeah, archaeology, don't bend it, I'm not, I, I just want to show you the difference. Yeah, two different pre-built decks, two different decks, you don't get two of the same one, it's two different pre-built decks. You want to see the difference? So the one on the left is the original, the one on the right is the new, the new one, the new card, I guess you could say the new what it looks like. Actually, that better idea to show it like this. Did it get a good idea of what, like, the first original on the stream looked like? There we go. There. So this one on the left is the, the ones we're printing. The one on the right is the original. And again, printed and made in America. I want to make that point clear. In the United States of America. Oh! I dropped them! My precious, my precious samples. So between the two starter decks that you get, there are, I believe there are 40 unique cards because there are doubles. They, we have to have doubles for the game sense, right? There's 84 cards total in each uh, across the two starter decks. So there you go. More than 40 unique cards, sorry. And then you get the two boosters in there too, which is another 20 cards. Pinned tweet, pinned tweet. Thank you for the demonstration, Mr. Jeremy. Will this be on the test? Hey. If it's more than if it's more than a if it's more than a four, it's on the test. Six. Are Grotto Beast NFTs? No! What stop saying that? Look! I like this. This. It's cool. Alright, there you go. I want to show it. Now you see kind of what's in the box. Unfortunately, the two pre-built starter decks are not there. As well as any of the cards that... Obviously, because we don't have that, I don't have them here. Are there any questions before we move on? I want to make sure we answer most of the stuff right now. 
When are they shipping? All right, Grotto Beast group chat, give me a hand here because we're having a pre-sale go for the next probably two weeks. After the pre-sale ends, the inventory that we've already have in production right now will be part of the first things to ship out. Again, if you are buying boosters right now, you are claiming the second run of production because the first run of production has already been claimed. How many total unique cards are there? 200. There are 200 unique cards. Is it feasibly possible to collect everything? That is a good question. I think the purpose with this was to be interesting merch. And we don't really have a plan as of right now on what we're going to do in the future with this. So I don't know. I guess maybe. I, it's a great question. Because it's a limited run as well. What's the calorie count? <laughs> yes, the pre-sale is going to ship out shortly after the pre-sale ends. So in a couple of weeks, just check back every so often. We'll, I'm, I'm, guys, I'm going to be talking about this every five or six days until uh, every like, but that's way too long. I'll be talking about this every day or two on stream until the pre-sale is over. Again, the point of the pre-sale is even though we've gone through our production inventory of boosters, I didn't want it to say, well, it's sold out and that's it. And sorry, but we went through our inventory and that's it. We have to contact the printer, reprint, do a, a second run, but keep the pre-sale open so you can still claim it at the price we are showing you. If we didn't, if it was just that one run and we didn't kind of keep this pre-sale going, then two or three weeks from now, I don't want these to appear for, you know, the price that we, a price that we are not telling you to pay weeks down the road. We want whoever wants this over the coming two or three weeks to be able to claim product for the price that we are telling you. So over these two and a half weeks or so, we're keeping a pre-sale going, regardless if we run out of production inventory. Will you play it on stream? You will absolutely see this be shown on stream. I can't say I'm very good. <laughs> it's very, it's fun though. It's very fun. And then in another couple of weeks, we'll have maybe something else to talk about and show you. But from now, we're really happy. It seems like people are into it. And that was a big fear is, is are people and all the production costs and everything. Is this like, are people going to actually care about this? And the answer apparently is yes. So thanks everybody. We're all, you, you cannot understand the, the excitement going on over here. For everyone that's just so happy with the reception. And we hope you like it. We hope you think it's a good enough quality. We really hope you do. And it's, it's merch. It's channel merch. And that's pretty much the way that it is. It's very different channel merch, but it is merch nonetheless. And any plans on this project going forward, we don't have... There's no plans right now. We don't want to talk about any plans because we need to see how this goes. This is uncharted territory for everybody over here. So but we're trying, we're trying, we're trying to figure it out. This guy sucks at Grotto Beasts. <laughs> what happened to the pin tweet? I deleted it because I need to make room for another one. I hope it makes it big. Well, and I, again, I, that's fucking cool. That's really, really cool. I, I can't even believe that that's something that somebody would even utter. But remember, it's fun channel merch, first and foremost. We made this for you guys. We made this for this community. That was the intent. That was the purpose. And whatever people do with it, whatever people think, whatever how much fun people have with it, cool. That's awesome. That, that makes all of us happy. And we'll see. Let's go back to Hylix. Although, I got, I'm gonna, I gotta pee. I'll be right back. I'm going to go pee. Okay. I am back. Sorry, I was gone for a little bit. I wanted to refill my uh, little drink I have here. I also wanted to just kind of corroborate with the Grotto Beast team, make sure everything I said was accurate. Well, I did pee. I peed. And then I was like, hey, let's ask a couple of questions to make sure I got this right. <laughs> let's play Ilex. Vibe check? I think the vibes are pretty great. The sus still says you're in the bathroom. Well, the stream is live right now. If that's for only when the stream is offline. <laughs> what the fuck are you guys doing over here? <laughs> I'm not gonna even. 
I'm not, I'm not gonna show that. Because it's stupid. Why? <laughs> no, if you- I'm- no, I'm not even gonna address it. It's- it's a stupid meme that somebody did in the Discord. I- I can't- I'm playing a game right now. I can't show it. I don't even understand what this meme is. What is this meme trying to- what is this meme? Can somebody explain this to me? I don't get it. I mean, I get it what they're doing, but I don't get it at the same time. It's Bernie watching a video of me with cigarette packs? Smoking a cigarette. I don't get it. I don't understand this and I'm not showing it. Now I'm just not gonna show it. I don't get it. I don't get- what does this mean? Fine, I'll show it. I- I don't- I don't get it. I don't understand this. Does anybody get it? I don't think there's anything to get necessarily. I I, I don't get it. I, I I I don't get it. I don't. I, does anybody get this? I don't get this. You know, you're gonna die again. What? Bro, you suck. No, I I gotta pay attention. Uh, people are sending me Bernie Sanders like smoking memes of me holding cigarette packs. I'm I'm a little distracted right now. Jerma, I'm crunk right now. I think you're cool. I appreciate it. Thanks. When's the last time you played with Play-Doh? Uh, that would have to be at least. Probably two weeks. The game's freaking me out, dude. Well, take a quick break and come back. Or not. You know, maybe you get some food in you, too. German streams in 864p because the maximum bitrate allowed by Twitch is 6,000. 1080p60 is too large for that bitrate to look good. Well, you can make 1080... Uh, 1080 uh, 30 is fine. 1080 60 is okay, too. It's... I prefer it the other way. Why did I read that? I don't know. Why are you reading the uh, you're reading the bot messages? I don't I don't know. I looked over and I saw it. I saw somebody do that emote where I'm like blah 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 blah. And I thought they were I thought they were talking shit. So it was that's an official message. Oops. This dude is beefing with his own night bot. <laughs> well, I don't know. I chat moves really fast sometimes, and you know? I I look over and it's I just see somebody doing that emote, and that emote usually means. Like, oh, look at me, I'm German, and I fucking talk too much. So I'm like, all right, so whatever, fuck you, bro, I'll tell you why. <laughs> I thought it was somebody like talking shit. It's a bird fighting its reflection. <laughs> Mods, can I read that? That's funny. I just, I have to read that. Like, am I allowed to read that? Somebody just got timed out. And this is what they said. Fuck this guy, this Germa dude, this streamer. I hate his streams. I hate his voice. I hate his face. I hate this game. I hate this chat. I hate Twitch. I hate videos. I hate the internet. I hate this keyboard. I hate computers. Fuck electronics. I fucking hate this chair too. I'm gonna just. I'm gonna give you just a, a small, <laughs> small piece of. Go get like a glass of water, and we come back. <laughs> I hate this chair. Hopefully, you get like a better chair, man. Like. Everybody deserves like a chair, right? A good chair. Get a glass of water. I hope you. F I hope like you feel better. Get a glass of water, and then then come back. <laughs> I hate the internet. I hate this chair. I hate the this keyboard. I like this this, this keyboard too. I hope you're doing all right, dude. Seriously. Sometimes you just gotta let it out. Yeah. Fuck this chair. This chair, dude. This chair. I hate chair streams. I hate his chair. I hate chairs. I hate this chair. I hate his chair. I hate that chair. I hate his chair. All right, I see we're, I see we're going uh, off the deep end with this one. Thoughts on the game so far? I think it's great. It's kind of like Earthbound. Went through a bunch of. I mean, it's like a really cool art piece. The music's really cool. And it plays sort of like that Earthbound kind of. The party, and you have to. I mean, it's. I like it. It's really cool. Correct. It is an RPG. Right, but it's it's like a television screen RPG. Here's what I mean by that. When you get into a battle, your party members are not on the screen. It's just you you're like a POV RPG. POV traditional turn-based RPG. And like and like the like the psychedelic powers and stuff. I mean that's Earthbound. He has no idea what he's doing. I have an I have a general idea. Tell us then. Well, I mean, I have no idea what's going on in the story. It's like a pretty trippy, kind of cool, interesting game. And I'm just enjoying the ride and the music and the chill vibes. 
and the the numbers that go up on screen i'm chilling out with that that's code for i don't know what's going on i'm fine though i whatever you know, whatever relax all right let's move <laughs> I just got this intense craving for, like, a pepperoni pizza. <laughs> I'm so glad that there is pepperoni pizza in the fridge. I can confirm with you all. Let me just confirm. There is a pepperoni pizza in the fridge. Don't worry. The enemy on your left has your hairstyle. <laughs> it doesn't. It's literally you. It's not literally me. Oh, yeah. It's Jerma! Oh my god, look at their hands to the left! <laughs> hey, whatever. Are you 5'4? No, I'm 5'7 and 5'8 with shoes on. Ban that person for a whole, at least one full day. You could be 6 feet tall, you could be 7 feet tall, you could be 5'2, you could be 5'1. We're all so different. We all have our own things that we can do. We all have different skills. And time out everyone saying 5 you know what I mean? Time them out. Get them. Delete them. You know how like how how much better it is to I can I can like nap on the couch perfectly. It's great. Well, this yeah this is that's fine. Do you want to cope? I can fit into little places and shit. It's great. I don't give a shit how tall I am. Yeah yeah. No, don't ever forget who actually threw the ring into Mount Doom. Don't forget who did that. It wasn't a gigantic orc. It wasn't Gandalf. Who was it? Who did it? Huh? Who did it? Well, yeah, yeah, but yeah, but, but yeah, but yeah. Gandalf. What? I'm Gandalf. How do you pronounce it? Gan, Gan, it's Gandalf. Gandalf. That's how you say Gandalf. This, is, this game feels like what sleep deprivation feels like. You can see that. Yo, apparel, passion, passion, apparel. And speaking of apparel, grottobeast.net. You can find yourself some hoodies, t-shirts, all with the Grotto Beast logo or some cool prints on it. It's kind of like if somebody picks a guitar up. So you're a guitarist and you play the guitar pretty well, but somebody decides that they're going to pick it up and be like, oh, you know, I, I, I know a little bit. I know a little bit. Just because they can't stand to be shown up in the same room as you. So they pick the guitar up and they play like the three chords they know how to play. Just, just to make it seem like that they know how to play the guitar. Because like, you can't have this. Like, you can't have this. I'm sorry. I have this too. See, I can, oh, look, I can play that. <laughs> this is a Seinfeld routine. Well, whatever, that episode of Seinfeld, it was funny. This is the worst concert I've ever been to. Try harder. I am. I'm trying. All right. I'm getting out of here. Is this a sponsored stream? Why the hell would this be a sponsored stream? This game came out like fucking six years ago. <laughs> what? When did this game come out? Like 2000 fucking 16? 2013? How long has this game been out for? This was eight years ago. That would be crazy. You got the sponsorship eight years ago, and they were just really lenient on the time frame. <laughs> oh my god, that would be fucking awful. Yeah, but I mean, back when I was in the middle of making YouTube videos, I just it didn't have a time frame on it. It just said, at some point in the future, and I was like, yeah, sure. Always read your contracts. <laughs> That's what I will tell you. There was no time frame. That would be so fucked up. Uh, but no, this game's just really cool. And we're doing, just hanging out. Have you ever tried Cruelty Squad? I have not seen Cruelty Squad. I'm not- well, I've seen it, but I've not played it. I feel like that- the game I know is awesome. I've been- I've been told it's fucking awesome. But it looks a little harsh. It looks like my brain would probably get hurt. Like, I would be like, ugh, it would probably give me a headache. Well, let me ask you a question. If I can handle this, could I handle Cruelty Squad? It gave me a headache, gave me a headache. 
Maybe, you know what I'll do? Maybe I'll jump into it for like 20 minutes or so off stream to see how I feel. Because I, believe it or not, I do have like audio visual stimulation that sometimes it can actually give me a headache. Sometimes, did I tell you when I, in the Half-Life 2 boat level, I almost puked and I had to lie down on my floor for like 10 minutes in between bits of that game. I remember lying on my back on the floor. Should not throw up playing Half-Life 2. Fast hot dog shooter. Yeah, I don't know. I've never seen anybody do it like this. Oh, I am defeated. Wayne, I'm sorry about everything. Oh, by the way, uh, I set this moon to explode when I die. Say your prayers and purify your vacuums. Like being memory o Wayne, hideous, luxuriously adrift, witnessed the chemical amidst the delusion vacuum of the government's irradiance renders greatly, so doth her homunculus pilot beside rays. So ends the tale of the modified beasts who sought to witness yet sort of expansively texturized her radiance. The end. <laughs> Wait, what? That's what it was? That is the end. With apologies? Why? Wait, with apologies? That was really cool. That was a very enjoyable game. So that was Hylix 1. We are going to absolutely play Hylix 2. I like that. That was cool. I liked it a lot. Yeah, I mean, like, that's. That was a four, like, three and a half hour, four hour experience. Two bucks. Come on. Come on, Gwen. I liked it a lot. Second Hylix win. Four out of ten. What? Wait, 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 what what happened? Why are people saying 4 to 10 Omega Lull? What did I say that? When did I do that? What? You said it's a... It was a miscommunication? Oh, four hours. Okay. I was like, what? That's not correct. Yeah, I, I don't... I can't give this game a rating. I don't think I want to. I think I would just say this is a recommended experience. Because to me, it, it, was, it was a great time. But I don't think that... The experience that I had here, I could be like, well, let me say uh, an X out of 10. No, no, it was just great. It was just really cool. But like, okay, if you, okay, if you want it to be rated, if this has to be a rating for you, this is for the experience. For the experience, it is a, it is a, a good plus. Good plus. I'm not giving this a number rating. I don't think you can. I think it's just a good plus. Which means that was fucking fun. That was great. And that's going to be the end of the stream. I think it's a good place to call it. I'm going to go eat some pizza. The next time you will see me is... We'll go Sunday.